Yeah, so this machine is made for all your small part machining. So when you're dealing with very small drills, you really need that speed. So this machine will give you that speed you need in all your applications. One of the topics we want to talk about today is the speed of this machine, right? Yes. So yes. what are we talking about with speed? Was it as fast as I just was? Even faster. So what we're dealing with in speed wise is 15,000 RPM on the main side. You got 10,000 on your sub. You got 10,000 for your live tool on your gang and 9,000 on your live for the back tool working. So. Well, Logan, you may or may not know this about me, but I spent a long time in the world of micro machining. Yeah. And I know the value of high RPM. Oh yeah. And when we get into say 20,000s, 40,000s, 60,000s, 80,000s, and that frame, RPM is of the utmost importance for the life of tools, for the finish of the product. Would you agree with all this? And that's why we're focusing on speed as well? Yeah, so this machine is made for all your small part machining. So when you're dealing with very small drills, you really need that speed. So this machine will give you that speed you need in all your applications. Something else we wanted to talk about today, Logan, is a really unique vacuum system you have in here. Let's talk about the vacuum system and why it's important for the audience to understand why you want it. This vacuum system is amazing. So this is a newer design. Uh, what it does is three main things. Separates your part from chips, prevents any falling you know, through holes through your normal eject, and it helps to protect the parts uh, where they won't hit into each other, they're not going to, like if you're dealing with needles, it's not going to bend the tip because the way it works is you eject normally, sub spindle comes over, door opens, vacuums out the part, comes over, goes through, and in this cone, it works as like a water park, you know? Like one of those cyclones, you're in the tube, you're coming down, you don't feel any of like thumps or hits or anything and just gently brings that part down into your little bucket and you're able to extract it. You guys are clever. I like this and I like learning from you as well. So I'm gonna take a step back and I see a Citizen logo on this bar feed. Can we talk a little bit about that? Cause there's some bar feed companies out there, right? Yeah, so this is our CAV 12 LSIS. What makes this one different is it's not a lifter type. So when you're dealing with really small bar stock, you don't want you know, your bar stock piling up on each other. You don't want it to double load. This prevents all that. This uses screws to separate all your bar stock, lifts up very gently, easily le lets the bar in, and then you have the confidence that this bar is going to be loaded every time without any fail. Is it fair for me to think, Logan, that when I see your logo connected to your machine, it is specific to make sure that you have the most cost effective and productive and efficient situation talking between the two systems yes. versus maybe reaching out to someone else. You can go to one company and find it right away. Yeah, so this bar loader is made specifically for our citizen machines. Um, ease of connection, ease of service. Uh, this will definitely be a success in your shop. You'll love it as soon as you land the feet on the floor. I like that. We like to love the products we buy for sure, right? Oh, yeah. So I see your machines all over the place. I mean, mm. our friendship with a lot of the colleagues that you have here at Citizen, I mean, Joe specifically, I talk with him a lot, right? And we're always going to great customer testimonials that you guys have. And we go there and we see machine after machine, dozens of rows lined up. And I have to talk about the software because you guys' software is unique in its own right as well, isn't yep. it? Would you mind elaborating on that for the audience? Yeah, so our software is super easy to set up. You know, with other machines, you know, you set up a program, you're typing in, you have to program where everything's going. What we have here at Citizen is our machining data. So here we have pictures for each step. Let me go through these a little bit. So when you start your program, you know, you, you pick your bar stock, you pick, you know, what you want your feeds to be, you pick, you know, where you want the cutoff tool to end up. Here, we set it out, lay it out very easily for you. Your bar stock OD gives you a nice picture where you want your tool to come. So it's, you know, very safe, comes up, 
uh, to a safe position. What cutoff tool you have. You don't have to worry about, you know, remembering. It all says here. The RPM you have. So it just makes it so much easier for your starting and your pickoff. Really, really simple. Now, I'm going to offer a personal testimony to the audience watching right now. I got to spend time at a place called Azure Microdynamics. Okay. And they, the owner, this really nice guy, this owner says, I had no idea how to do Swiss machining, but partnering with Citizen, because of the ease of this software, allowed me, not only because of the incredible service and support that you guys gave, but allowed me to learn within a week how to start my shop and run my shop. And today he has over 30, over 40 of them, I believe, and continues to grow, and it's all based on that service and support and ease of software, so well done on that. Thank you so much. Well, Logan, I'm going to let you off the hot seat, and I think it's important because you are amazing, and you'll probably take my job from me. So with that being said, <laughs> let's move on. This is Citizen. This is my buddy, Logan. Thank you so much. And just off camera is my buddy, Joe, who we always like to salute when we're here. So thank you all for watching. Time is precious.